This time we're joined by the representatives of the Georgia State Panthers. We have head coach Ron Hunter, as well as number two, Malik Ben-Levy, and number 30, Jeff Thomas. Coach Hunter, if you could please start with a brief opening statement. Yeah, I, um, I thought we were really good defensively, uh, really got after it. You know, we've only played two games in the last 15 days, so offensively our timing is off. Uh, we had the week off here, we had the week by uh, right at the end of the season. So offensively we just, uh, you know, we, 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 we haven't clicked a little bit just because we just hadn't played enough games. Uh, but our defense was really good, and we, we you know, we, we, we kind of took this game a little personal defensively. I know they, uh, you know, they, they're, they're a really good defensive team, but we wanted to kind of let some people know that uh, our defense is pretty good. So uh, our seniors play great. That's what they do. They, they've been here before. You know, one of the things is experience. You know, uh, how you prepare. It's not even about the game. How do you get here? How do you prepare? What do you do in a hotel? You know, we've been here before. We've been in semis. We've been in championship games. We've been in NCAA tournament. So we know how to handle these things. And so this wasn't even about me. These guys know how to handle themselves in, in regards to trying to win a championship. Thank you, Coach. This time we'll take questions for the student athletes only. Please raise your hand if you have a question and wait for the microphone and identify yourself by name and media outlet. Questions? We'll go on the right side, right in the aisle. Hi, Andrew Zimola, University Star. Malik, you had a really good game today, you know, coming out your senior year. You said that Texas State, the coach mentioned Texas State was a good defensive team. What did you see to get your shots? Um, I know they're, they're pretty much hard hedging, so like I feel like no five in the country could keep up with me. So while you got the hard hedging, I'm wide open. And I feel like I'm one of the best three point shooting centers in the in the country, so I was able to knock him down tonight. Further questions? Sliding up two. All right, go ahead to the back. Brianna Dahlquist, George State University Television. First and foremost, congratulations, Coach. Thank you. Congratulations to the players. What does this mean? Or this win mean for Georgia State University? Um, I think it's a lot, you know. But you know, right, we're not done yet. We we came here, like Coach said, to win a championship, and uh, you know. We uh we you know, we're we're really excited to play in this game and we've been ready all week and but uh you know I feel like we're ready. Malik, thoughts on what it means to the university? Uh, it means a lot. I mean, we had a lot of ups and downs this year, and us coming uh to the Sun Belt tournament, being able to play this well in defense and I mean it's huge for the university. But like Jeff said, we're not done yet. We got one more to get to the NCAA tournament, and that's, we got to finish the job tomorrow. We're gonna go to the aisle on the left. Um, they were really focused on Simon stopping him uh, today. Um, so I guess what did you have to do step up, stepping up offensively? Uh, I mean, we know a lot of people focus on DeMarcus because DeMarcus is a great ball player. I mean, how could you not focus on him? So him drawing all the attention is, is getting us open. And me being able to knock him down today was uh, very huge for us. So, I mean, I can't thank DeMarcus enough because he's a great player to pass the ball. And what's it like having an opportunity to, to repeat as champions tomorrow? Uh, I mean, it's a good it's a good feeling, man. Being able to chance to repeat. I mean, of course, out my senior year, I want to end up going to the NCAA tournament. You know, yeah, it's a huge stage to play on. So, being able to repeat would be huge for me. Going to the back now. Anybody can answer this, or all three of you. Where do you get your swag from? We were born with the swag. Everybody, you know, everybody on the team got swag. We were born with that sauce, man. <laughs> they got swag because we won the league, and these guys aren't all conference players. Think about that. Not all. We don't have anybody all conference except for one guy. That's why these guys got swag. We got something to prove to the coaches, to the media. You can't tell me that what we've done in this program, and these guys since they've been here have not been all league. Ah, there's, there's a problem with the way we're doing that. But that's okay. As I told them, we don't care about individual awards. All we care about is who goes to the NCAA tournament and who brings those banners home. So that's the swag we carry. Additional questions for the student athletes? Thank you very much, guys. You can head back to the locker room. Right, let's get those guys out of here, too. Okay. Right. And we'll go ahead with uh, questions for Coach now. We're going to start on the right side, right on the aisle. Coach, you mentioned you guys didn't play for a week. It looked like in the first half especially that Texas State didn't have the energy, wasn't able to keep up with you guys. Do you think that the uh, rest gave you guys fresher legs? No, I just think our defense was better. 
you know, again, I mean, you can give our defense credit. Uh, they only play one game. These kids play AU basketball, and they play eight games in a day and turn around and do it again. So I, I, don't, I don't buy into the tired thing. I just thought that our kids were great defensively, and we kind of took their will away. And so it wasn't about being tired or anything like, like that. I mean, they just played one game. And so uh, it was more about that. We wanted to come out and throw the first punch, the second punch, and the last punch. That was our whole deal. We're going to go in the fifth row right back. Good game, Coach. Uh, Chris Taylor, New Orleans Junior Journalism Program. And uh, you know you said defense was a big impact for y'all, very important for y'all going into the game. How mm -hmm. much did those 18 turnovers have onto the game? How, how much was that? Was, how did that impact the game for y'all? Well, again, when you when you get into the conference tournament, man, everybody knows what, what you know what you're doing, and you got to like that. The best team, the best defensive team, goes to the NCAA tournament always. That's what generally happens, and so that's what we wanted to talk to our guys about. We showed them a clip of a couple years ago when we won that magical game here, uh, 36 to 37, <laughs> and 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 just shows you that you can win games, you know, that way. You know, we average about 80 points a game, but you're not going to do that in the NCAA tournament. And you generally are going to do that here, so you better be a really good defensive team. Back to the right side. Nigel Pearson, you know, first team all Sunbelt. You mentioned that you guys do keep up with that. I yeah. know it doesn't affect you, but you do keep up with that. Mm -hmm. O of 10. So defensively, what did you do differently that everybody else in the conference wasn't able to do during the season? Nothing. Nothing. We just played our game. We played defense. And again, we, you know, these guys knew that. And at halftime, the, we talked about how many points does Pearson got. So when we came out, we said, let's shut him out. Because, you know, he's a good player. And so that was a good – these guys, we take pride in That's part of what this program is built on, man. We take pride in our defense, and we want to shut guys, especially this time of year. Hard part for us is that the whole process of trying to get us to this point, I knew once we would get here, I wouldn't have to do anything. The process of getting here when you got a bunch of seniors and it's like, okay, let's just wait to the tournament. It's kind of like I just let them out the cage, man. They're ready to go. And so there's no rah-rah speeches. There's no big – these guys are ready. They're on a mission. And that's why we don't celebrate. It. We'll win this thing tomorrow. We won't celebrate. We want to get back to the tournament and win some games in that tournament. That's why we're on a mission to get that done. All the way to the back with the camera. Brianna Dolph with Georgia State Television. Now, dur during all, you know, 24 hours ago, DeMarcus made a point, say via Twitter, we're locked in. Mm -hmm. We're locked in. We're locked in. What are you guys going to do to stay locked in and stay focused tomorrow? Same thing we've been doing, you know. I, I, uh, again, you know, I, I would be more concerned and worried if this was a young team, or this is the first time we've been here. I mean, we got some, you know, we got some. Good, we we've been in these championship games before. This is this is it. You know, when we go back to the hotel, I don't have to worry. I know exactly. They know exactly what to do. They know how to get the ice, the cold tub. They know exactly what to do. They know those games at one o'clock tomorrow. They know how to get themselves ready. You know, and so that's the that's the benefit of being here. You know, I think that whoever we play, one of the things that, you know, Texas, you know, Arlington was here last year, but with a whole new team. So all those guys are new, and this would be an experience for them. Georgia Southern has been a while since they've been into the championship game. Again, you know, experience does count for something, and so we know how to handle that moment. Thank you very much, Coach. Right, we'll see you, you tomorrow. Yep, see you tomorrow. Thanks, guys.